Hello Capricorns, welcome back to my channel, the Ivy Phoenix here. Um, we are getting ready to do your May 2020 reading, so let's just jump right on into it. Um, <laughs> let me tell you Capricorns, I, I don't envy you. Um, I, I must say that right now <laughs> with all the planets that are in your sign, the planets that are going retrograde, just the heavy, heavy focus that Capricorn um, signs have had over the last, what, year and a half and going, I don't envy you. I just, I don't. Um, I actually really admire your tenacity and your strength to literally just be reborn, become a brand new person. Um honestly like damn near unrecognizable and uh i give you credit i give you credit i'm sure you know every sign kind of goes through something similar but i do feel that because one your ruling planet is saturn um and saturn's energy in a sign you know can differ from um from other planets, it's it's just different. It's different across the board. So again, kudos to you all. Let's see what's going on with you here for the month of May. We have King of Wands, Page of Cups, and Seven of Cups on the board thus far. Right, who came out with that? Do we need, okay, I, yeah, okay. That's what I was like. Do we need another one? The unknown card makes its way back. Two of Swords. What is going on, Capricorns? Again, King of Wands. Page of Cups. Seven of Cups. Strength card. The Emperor. And the Unknown card. So there is definitely something here that leaves room for you to manifest it. And then the Seven of Wands wanted to show up. I don't know if you just saw that. Um, oh, but that's underneath. So we have the Two of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Seven of Wands over here that will also be influencing some of the energy you experience throughout this month. Um, first off, now my sinuses are starting to act up. So... I don't like to invoke fear, um, but I, I want to say that if any of you feel the need to get tested um, for the COVID-19 virus, please do so. Please make sure that you advocate for yourselves and that you keep shopping around for doctors that are really going to help you or give you the referral to certain um, testing sites because I, um, you know, like I know some people personally who have been impacted by it. Um, yeah, and it's so unfortunate that there is such a thin line between the, the seriousness of it, the reality of it, and um, the, the fear that it provokes, you know? Um, and how it's just going to change our lives. So I want I want to say that I feel like that may be where some of this is coming from. Just to give you some peace of mind, do it. Um, this energy here in the cards. This unknown card is what is really speaking out the most to me. Is that no matter what, no matter all of the other things that may be taking your focus you still have the opportunity to transform it into whatever it is that you want it to be. You are still able to, I want to say manipulate the Capricorns. I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, you're coming to a, another place in your life where that is not the call. That's not the answer to the call. Okay. It's not about manipulation. It's about the fact that you're resourceful. 
you you know what you can and cannot do you know how you're able to operate but i really we've said we talked about this right I, i've said this with you all before you want to make sure that what you are doing is morally sound sorry all of a sudden my here somewhere and i can't get it Um, sorry about that. Uh, you want to make sure that you're acting in, in a morally sound way. And um, what I do love also here, this King of Wands energy, that's also been something that you have been going through um, in the last several readings that I've done for you is trying to merge this energy of, you know, like who you are as an earth sign, who you are um, as a Capricorn, but taking up additional energies, fire, uh, water, air, whatever it may be, taking up different ways of doing things so that you can become more of a well-rounded person. And so we have um, swords energy here. We have fire energy here. We have water energy here. You're growing. You are growing. And like I was already channeling with so much happening in the sign of Capricorn, how can you not? Okay. With the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups here, you know, like there is still a lot of work that needs to be done from an emotional standpoint. And I think that's where you have connectivity issues. Um, or like if you were trying to build a connection, whether it's platonic, whether it's romantic, you know, there are certain barriers that you face because it seems as if you approach it more as a job. You approach it more of like, well, let me show up every day and that's enough no 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 no. you have to be warm you have to be welcoming you have to be giving you have to communicate you have to feed it you have to do certain things to make it a relationship to make it seem as if you know it's really going to stand the test of time because what you forget sometimes i think capricorns is that jobs are a dime a dozen <laughs> excuse me you may you know, be in your dream opportunity and all these other types of things, but jobs can always be replaced. And when it comes with relationships, typically you are molding the relationship so that it does stand the test of time. And so I feel like this page of cups and seven of seven of cups are letting you know, like, yeah, there are plenty of options out there. There are plenty of different opportunities that you can take advantage of to get what it is that you want. But if you don't really see the value in whatever it is that you choose, like the real deep down um, truthful value of why it belongs in your life, why it is what you are choosing, then, you know, you're going to continue to to fall to, to um, you know, false visions, portrayals, and all of those different types of things. So I think here, um, the the characteristics that you should be picking up on, um, well, it seems like you have a couple of fire signs that may influence you. Oops. You have Leo energy and you have Aries energy here with the Emperor. So I wouldn't be surprised if those are some of the um, signs that come into your life that are really trying to help you get over the well one the unknown but also trying to help you get over of what it is that you used to do what it is that kept you back in that previous capricorn mentality whatever it was specifically for you and so it's gonna it's going to be a choice you have to make and honestly it may be a choice that you're continuously having to make you're going to have to learn this capricorn it's going to have to become second nature to you eventually so that means you're going to have to continue to practice it which means you're going to have to continue to see the lessons from it all and that is why you know saturn is not moving on from capricorn you know until the next what almost 30 years until you've learned this, until you've got this down, okay? And with the Six of Swords, it, it you know, and I was just, I think this was in the Sag reading. So um, eh, it's short enough where I would say you can go ahead and go watch it. It was a different type of message. But the uh, Six of Swords, I had told them, I was like, you know, some of you have not let go of those two swords yet. Um, in, in 
in this imagery, you know, she she has released them, but there were some Sagittarius that hadn't. Capricorns, for you, some of you may not have had released them. And I'm saying that more definitely for you than I did in the Sag video because of the fact that Two of Swords came out before the Six of Swords card did, okay, as an influence. Um, but that's where that's what you're working towards. You're working towards making that the, that choice, those choices over and over. Hey, over and over and over and over and over again, so that that is what you do versus the old stuff of what you don't want to do anymore. Does that all make sense? <laughs> I hope it does. Um, and I know it can be a little like, pshaw, whatever, you know, like more advice, more things for me to do, more things for me to learn. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, like the retrograde season, it is about us advancing. It is about us moving forward. It is about us, again, pouring love into ourselves. And so um, that is why the Oracle poll for this month has to do with self-love, all right? So um, Capricorns, keep, keep pushing, but take the help, you know, take the assistance that comes from it. <laughs> Your current situation has given you an opportunity to re-evaluate what you want back to what you love and this is three thank you can it get any clearer capricorns again even if this is still hard for you to do even if you know like you're still learning how to make this choice the universe is still saying you have the power to make whatever you want out of it. You want to continue living the same old life? That's fine. But understand what's going to come with it. And so if you do choose to move forward, if you do choose to um, live in your highest good, understand what's going to come with it. It's a learning curve. It is not something that's going to happen overnight. You're ruled by Saturn. Nothing's ever going to happen overnight for you, Capricorns. Sorry, um, it's all going to be something that you have to learn, that you invest in, that you are connected to, like truly, truly connected to. And if it doesn't fit that bill, I don't, I don't think that as you move forward and as you do, as what you're learning becomes more second nature, um, it just won't be a question anymore. It's really going to be something that you check in on within you before you allow for any external circumstances to to dictate what you're supposed to do i see reading capricorns if you want something more specific um definitely feel free to reach out to me at the ivy phoenix guidance at gmail.com that is my email address information is also down in the description box below um, join me and the rest of the Fire family on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm definitely going to be getting into more detail <clears throat> about the retrograde season through those platforms. Excuse me. So um, definitely join me over there. It is going to be one heck of a summer. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, I feel it. Um, I feel it. And we, the next full moon is going to be in eclipse. Like that, that in itself, um, we got a lot going on. So make sure to to join the family, okay? Um, and also, uh, if you want any type of telephone reading or anything like that, I'm over on Instant Go. So until next time, absolutely love you. Continue to do the work, please, 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 Capricorns. And I will see you next time. Be blessed.